Welcome to today's FCICA product promotional webinar series. We are pleased to have Marlene Morin from the Sika Corporation with us today to talk about Sika and their products. And Marlene, I'll turn the floor to you. Thank you very much, Kelly, and uh, good morning, everybody. So I'm Marlene Morin from Sika. I'm the marketing manager for the Flow Covering System division and I'm going to discuss and introduce you to our products. Um, feel free to ask your question anytime. Kelly will uh, give it to me, and I will be happy to answer it. So let's start, if it works. So before going to the product, I will quickly introduce Sika. So Sika is a worldwide company. We are more than 17,000 people working in this company. We are in 97 countries so far, and uh, one of our main focus is to develop new products. So as you can see, in 2016, we had 72 new patents that we filled. And that's really one of our DNA in SICA is to develop new technology and new products to answer the needs of the market. So we are active in seven different target markets. And so you probably have heard about SICA in other uh, area of expertise. So we work in concrete. We provide admixture for the concrete. We work in waterproofing. Roofing. Roofing is one of our most important division in the USA. Um, we work in flooring and coating, sealing and bonding, refurbishment, industry, and automotive. So just to give you an example of jobs that we were involved with. So in concrete and waterproofing, we were working on the waterproof of the Lincoln Memorial Pool. And we are also now involved on the headquarters of Apple, Apple in California. So we work with the specifiers and the redemix plants to design uh, and help them to provide the best concrete for Apple. And Apple has very specific needs. They want a white concrete. And our um, concrete division develops with Apple and the concrete producer, the correct admixture to fill the need of Apple. We are also involved in different uh, flooring, industrial flooring with those colorful floors that you can see we're using the Crayola experience. So these are the floors uh, that we call industrial flooring. We are not going to discuss the products of those floors today. But if you have any question, you can uh, contact me and I will give you the right contact to discuss industrial flooring. And if you like football and if you go to the Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Texas, uh, the roof was made with one of our membranes. Also, we were working on the Empire State Building. Uh, we did the sealant of all the windows and on the Alcatraz um, jail in California, we were involved on the repair of the concrete. And finally, we are very strongly involved in the automotive business and the industry. And for example, 50% of the cars in the world have Sika products in it. So it can be from the to bond the windshield or to work on uh, reducing the sound and the noise in the car. This is uh, kind of different than the construction business, but this is a very strong activity for SICA. So this is an overview of our um, different businesses, and all of our products are produced in USA for the U.S. market. So we have 13 different plants in USA and three in Canada. One of our targets is to be the closest that we can from our customers. And so this is why we are increasing our footprint. Our, the next plant will be open by the end of the year in Houston. 
So this is who Sika is, and now when it comes to the Sika floor covering business, this is what we stand for. So our conception of business is to provide service, training, and expertise so we can help you to make your floor Sika secure. So what does Sika secure mean? It means that we provide proven performance products. We are in this business since 1999 on the floor covering business. So all the solutions you will see are, um, I mean, I've been experienced since a while in the U.S. market. And what's important, too, is we warranty our solutions and system. So what you will see, we provide some build-ups, individual products are warranty and system are warranty because the, we test the compatibility between our entire solution to provide you the best on the floor so when you get when you walk outside the job you know where um where have you covered. So now let's go to the product by itself. Uh, I hope everything is fine until now and if you have any questions once again feel free to ask. Kelly will uh forward it to me. So we are all concerned about when we are on a job to make the floor last because no one wants to go back to a job one year after with a failure on the floor and what you need to think about when you go and you walk to a job is what does it take to get a long lasting floor. And the first first step that needs to be taken into account is the substrate. The substrate is the key to make your floor last. So there are many different issues you can get on substrate. The most common one are there is issue with the moisture content. So the moisture in the substrate is too high based on the flooring manufacturer requirements. All the weakness of all the substrate is too weak. For example, if you take light concrete, if some, uh, the strength of those substrates does not require the need for hardwood floor, for example, hardwood floor needs to get to 3000 psi. The substrate of the, if you want to put down hardwood floor, the substrate needs to be 3000 psi. And sometimes you get a floor at 1,000 psi. So you need to address this issue. And also one of the other concerns when it comes to the substrate is you have a cutback, adhesive residue, paint, track, um, sealant. Anyway, your substrate is not clean. And then you have many different options that can cost time and money, such as shot blasting, riding, but you need to be sure your surface can take the floor you are going to put on top of it. So for all these issues that are very common on a job, we have one product which is called Sika MB. This is the product. So Sika MB is a product that we use to call three in one. Because with the Sika MB, you can do a moisture barrier but you can also do a substrate consolidator and you can also do an adhesion promoter. So if I think about the moisture barrier, the limitation of the Sika MB is 100% RH or 25 calcium chloride or 6% Tramex. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Tramex method, but the Tramex is an electrical measurement of the moisture at the surface of the substrate. So for example, you take a concrete slab, you come with your tramex and you put it down, the reading of this tool is immediate. While you have to wait 60 to 72 hours with the two other methods, with the tramex method, you can get a reading right away and without uh, doing holes in the concrete slab or without waiting. You, we usually recommend to do all the RH methods or the calcium chloride and to use the Tramex method the day of the installation 
because we all know that the moisture uh, reading is at one specific moment and it can change during the time. So if you do your reading one week before, you can come back the day of the installation, put your tranex down and you are sure you're covered with the CKM. So this is for the moisture barrier. 100% RH, 25 calcium chloride, 6% tranex. The nice thing with the Sika MV is that we do not require to shut blast or to grind the subfloor before. The only requirement is that the subfloor to be visibly dry and to be open. So the Sika MV will be able to penetrate into the, uh, the concrete slab or other kind of subfloor. subfloor. It needs to be open because the way it works, it's a super low, uh, the viscosity of this product is very, very high. And so it will, it's very low, sorry, it's very low, meaning it's like water. So the way it will work, you will put it on top of your substrate and will penetrate. So as soon as it's open, it will work. So that's one of the nice feature of this product, no shut blast or no grinding, we just require an open texture and 100% RH, 25 calcium chloride, 6% tramex. This is for moisture. Now, if you have a weak substrate, like gypsum or lightcrete, you can use this product too, same way. As it's going to penetrate the substrate, and as it's a two-component epoxy, when it will cure, it will go so strong that the compressing stress of the subfloor will be at the end a 10,000 psi. So you can transform a subfloor 1,000 psi of compressing strength to a 10,000 psi compressing strength, which is very useful. And at last, it's also an adhesion promoter meaning we do not require the substrate to be 100% clean if you use this product. We just say you need to have a 50% clean substrate, and then you can use the Tika MV, and then you can glue down on top of the Tika MV. It means that if you have cutback residue, uh, paint mark, all of these small um, items that will prevent the adhesive from from uh, adhering to the substrate. If you use the CKMB prior to that, it will help the adhesion. So with this product, you have moisture barrier, substrate consolidator, and adhesion promotion. And you can use that for all kind of floor covering that you are going to put on top of the MV. So the way to measure the differences between the different moisture mitigation system is to compare the permeability rating. So this is, has been established by NWFA, but what we say is if you have a permeability rating of 0 0.9, you are almost close to no protection from the moisture. But if you are below 0 0.15, it becomes a vapor barrier, and some jobs require vapor barrier. So if you have to compare different solutions for moisture mitigation, ask for the perma, perm rating or permeability rating. And when it comes to the Sika MV, the permeability rating is 0 0.06. So this explains why this product has such a high level of limitation when it comes to moisture. And it also explains why you can recover cutback or adhesive residue because the permeability rating is so low, it won't allow anything to go through. The nice thing too with this product is the packaging. So you can see it's one five gallon bucket and inside the bucket, you have the B component and the A component. So everything comes in one bucket. So when you're on a job, you don't have to worry, where is my A, where is my B? Everything is in one bucket. And the bucket is designed so you can mix the two components 
in the bucket. So you don't have to get a third bucket on a job. So the product is a 2.64 gallon in a pail, and then it comes in this five gallon pail, so you can mix everything, and then you will pour the product down. With one pail, you can cover 250 square feet up to 300 square feet when it comes to moisture protection. But if you want to use this product as an addition, addition promotion, you can go up to 400, 400 square feet. So these are some pictures on the job that we did. So when you have when you have to do moisture barrier, you are going to mix the product in the bucket, and then you are going to pour the product in strips, and you just have to roll it the product down, to roll the product down. So it's very easy to use, it's easy to mix, easy to use, and you can get with this product a protection for the moisture of 100% RH. The color is blue, so you can see where it goes once you leave the room. I mean, you don't forget any spot because you will see where the product has been applied. For consolidation, this job was done on a gypsum, and so you will use this product. You will see at the end of the application, you have this nice membrane, very like a mirror. And this is how you know that um, the product works. We don't require a specific thickness. As soon as you follow the coverage uh, of the product, meaning if you do a moisture barrier, you need to be sure that you have covered 250, 250 square feet to 300 square feet. If you go further than that, then the moisture protection might not be there. At the end of the day, it also depends on the substrate. What kind and how porous your substrate is. And then the addition promotion, so you can see this floor is not 100% clean. There are some adhesive residue, but you can apply the MV directly on top of it and you won't have any problem with that. So this is the first step. You need to be sure that your floor, you have solved the moisture issue if you have some. You need to be sure that the substrate is strong enough to get your floor covering. And you need to be sure that it's, uh, if it's not clean, that you have clean it or applied the CKMV on top of it to be sure that the entire surface will be able to be bonded on. So once you have, uh, done the, once you have solved the issue regarding substrate, you can start to think about the smoothness and the level of the substrate. So, because usually when you go to a job, the floor is probably not level, and it's probably not smooth to take VCT or carpet on top of it. So we have an entire line to help you with that, which we call the CK level line. So in this line, you have two primers, CK level O1 primer and CK level O2 easy primer. You have two levelers, CK level 125 and CK level 325. You have one patch product, the CK level rapid patch, and you have one skin coat product, which is called CK level skin coat. So all of our TICA level underlayment can be used in schools, hospital, museum, but also in commercial environments like stores, warehouse, and in residential, high rises, domestic homes, condominium. So it always comes to the substrate. That was the step one. So you know how your substrate is. If it's a porous substrate, you will use the CK level O1 primer. By porous substrate, we consider it's usually like a brand new concrete. If you have mark or if it's not 100% clean, you have two solutions. You can grind the substrate or shot blast and use the O1 primer or you can apply the CKMV. 
So this primer is one component, acrylic primer, the coverage is 350 square feet, and it can be used with all of our levelers, meaning the 125 and the 325. If you have a non-porous substrate, then you will use the CK level O2 Easy Primer. For example, you don't want to shut blast your subfloor and it's not 100% clean. So you will use the CK MB, and on top of the CK MB, you will use the CK level O2 Easy Primer. So the O2 Easy Primer is the same thing. One component, it comes in one gallon pail, you don't have to mix it, you just check the bucket, and then you can pour it down and roll it, uh, as you can see on this picture. Marlene, um, can I interrupt you for just a moment? We have a question. Yeah, yeah sure, go ahead. Great, this is going back to the Sika MB. Uh, uh, the question from Evan is, with the low viscosity of the MB, does that mean we do not need to prep cracks and joints with the products like Sika Dura 3555 prior to MB's application? And if not, how do we prevent reverse curl of concrete when the moisture of the concrete redistributes to the concrete? This can often so show through resilient flooring. So the first question, if I'm correct, is about uh, repairing the concrete with Icadur, and uh, so Icadur is uh, one of our lines for uh, repairing cracks and everything. So that's the first question, correct? Correct. So you can repair the crack with the Icadur, and you can apply the MB directly on top of that. The crack on the concrete will, be, the, the repairing the crack on the concrete will depend on how big is the crack and how is, if it is a structural crack or not. But in any case, you can apply the MD directly on top of the, on our schedule. As soon as you have, uh, porous, uh, the, that you leave a porous, uh, element along of the repair, that will work. And the second question, the, sec the second question, I'm not sure that I understood it completely. Can well, you repeat was asking, it? Yep, so the first part um, that you answered, he was saying, asking whether with the low viscosity of the MB, do you, ha do you have to prep the cracks and joints with the Cicadur? And then um, he said, which you answered, and then he says, if you not, if you don't prep it with the Cicadur, how do you prevent reverse curl of concrete when the moisture and the concrete redistribute? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this product, the CKMB, is also a crack bridging product. So it always comes to what is the crack. Is it a big crack or is it a small crack? Is it a structural crack or is it not a structural crack? If it is not a structural crack, you can use the MB. Other than that, you will have to use the, our solution we have from the Cicadio line. If it's also like a small crack, you can use a Malta product, which is for us the Cica Quick 1000, and that will, uh, and on top of that, you can apply the MD direct. Great, thank you. And Evan, if you um, want to clarify your question, go ahead and resend something else in. Yeah, I hope, Evan, that I, I um, answer your question. Uh, I'm not that familiar with the uh, repair of the concrete slab when you have structural uh, cracks and everything, but uh, it's something that we have definitely the solution for. So if you want to learn more about it, just uh, you can contact me after to or resend the question. Okay. Any other questions so far? Nope. We're good. Perfect. So the CK level O2 is the primer, so it's for non-porous substrate, and so you can use that over existing coating or over VCT or any kind of substrate that is non-porous. So if you use the MV, you can use the O2 easy primer on top of it because it's a non-porous substrate. So before applying down a leveler, from our line, you need to use all the O1 primer, all the O2 easy primer. This is another, this is the same job of O2 easy, 
you can see we didn't read off the we didn't take off the VCT. We applied the O2 easy directly on top of it and then we fold down the leveler. The drying time of the O2 easy primer and the O1 primer is between 15 minutes to 30 minutes. So once you have primed your substrate, and you always have to prime your substrate, regardless if it's porous or non-porous, then you can use one of our levelers. So the 125 comes in a 50-pound bag. It's a, a, sorry. So this product, you can use it up to one inch in one list, and you can go up to two inches with aggregate. And you can also do two layers. So if you want to do one inch, let's say you have to go to two inches, but you don't want to add aggregate. So you can do a first layer of one inch, and then you will prime the this layer one cured, and you can use a second layer. You can do a second layer of one inch. You will use the primer or one primer between the two layers. You can walk on the CK level 125 after five hours, and you can recover the 125. This will depend on your floor covering, but it's between 24 hours up to 72 hours. This product is using what we call the CK viscocrete technology. So this is the technology that is used in our concrete admixture, and this technology allows a very great fluidity and a very high flow of this product. It's a self-leveler product that you can use with uh, the regular tool, but you can also pump uh, this leveler. These are some examples of applications. So it goes residential or in commercial applications such as air sensor. The other level that we have is the 325. So the differences between the 125 and the 325 is the drying time. So the 325 will dry faster, so you can cover it faster than with the 125. You can go with a higher thickness if you use the 325. So if you use the 325, Without aggregate, you can go up to 1.5 inch, and with aggregate, you can go up to 3 inches. Same thing, you can uh, pour down two layers, one layer on top of the other, with a primer in between. This product comes in 55 pound bags. And you can install as it dries faster, you can install the floor covering. It depends on what kind of floor, but some kind of floor can be installed the same. These are some products, projects that we have worked on. So this is before and this is after. These are some comparisons between the two products, so the 125 and the 325. So you can see also one of the biggest difference is the compressing strength. So the 125 is 3, 7, 750 PSI, while with the 325 you go more than 5,000 PSI. So if you have a floor, commercial floor that will be under strong traffic, heavy load traffic, you will use the CCAT level 325. And the floor sensitive installation with the 325 is 24 hours. So these are the levelers. And but sometimes you don't have to level, you just have to smoothen the floor. And for this, we have the CK level skim coat. So it's a CK level, it's a skim coat. I'm pretty sure you have used many, many of those. What is great with this product is there is no moisture limitation. That means you can apply this product under the CICA MB or under any other moisture mitigation solution. And because there is no moisture limitation, 
these products won't breach under a moisture mitigation system. You can go up to half of an inch with this product and it comes in 10 pound bag. These are some pictures. We also have a brand new video about this product that you can find on YouTube under our Sika USA YouTube channel. So you can use this product with many different kinds of travel and we also we are now trying to develop, uh, instead of being on your knee to apply this product, you can stand up and use a squeegee as a trowel and it will work. These are some other pictures. So this is our cement tissue slime and when it comes to the system, we call it the Sika MV Excel system. So if you have a moisture issue or if your substrate is not strong enough or too not clean enough, the system works this way. So basically on day one in the morning you will prepare the concrete, meaning it will be vacuumed, and then you will apply the Sika MV uh, on the concrete. You let it cure during the night, so the curing time of the Sika MV is uh, six to eight hours. So you come back on day two in the morning, you apply the Sika level O2 Easy Primer on top of the Sika MV. As it dries very, very fast, you can then apply all the Sika level 125, all the Sika level 325, or you can apply the Sika level steam coat. One thing with the Sika level steam coat, you can go without any primer directly on top of the concrete. But if you use the CKMB before, you need to prime the CKMB with the O2 Easy Primer. These are some build-ups that you can uh, do with our entire line. So you can do carpet directly on top of the CKMB, or you can use the skin coat, or we are going to see our CKMB online, but you can, I mean, everything is feasible with our system, and it all comes on what is the subfloor, what is the floor covering that I'm going to use on top of that. So now we don't provide uh, adhesive for carpet or VTT, but we do have wood floor adhesive. So for the wood floor adhesive, we call it the Sika bond, and we have four main products. We have the high elongation product, which is Ticabon T55. We have, and the T55 is designed for solid wood. We have the Ticabon T35 for the engineer wood product. And we have two all-in-one products, so the Ticabon T21 and the Ticabon T100. We also have a very interesting system for the sound control, mainly used mainly used in the high-rises building. So the Cicabon T55 is the one component. This is the urethane uh, technology. So Cica is the first worldwide producer of urethane. Um, the elongation of this product is 400%, and you can stand the wood floor after 12 hours. And you can use solid wood up to eight inches, three quarter of an inch thick. The nice feature with this product is the packaging because it's an easy lock, um, easy lock packaging. So here you can see you just open it and then you can close it even after you have used this product. The Cicamon T35, so we recommend to use this product on the, for the engineer wood floor. The elongation is 170%, so the elongation is the criteria that will explain how flexible the product is. So the, if you use a solid wood, three quarter of an inch, obviously this wool this wood will expand the most, and so you need a product with a very high level of elongation to follow the entire movement of the wood. So this is why 
255 is 400% elongation, and 235 is more for engineer because it's 170% uh, elongation. And with 235, the floor can be extended after 24 hours. Now, we also have the all-in-one product. So the all-in-one product is for adhesive, obviously, for moisture protection, but also for sound control. So if you want to use the Ficalon P21 as a moisture protection, you will use it with the trowel that comes with the bucket. This trowel, is, it, we call it MC moisture control plus some control, so MC plus SC trowel. And this trowel is specifically designed so it will give the right coverage to get this moisture protection. And with this, so it's thicker than if you use it as a regular adhesive. And as it's thicker, it will create a membrane with 100% coverage full bond to the wood. And this is why the moisture won't go through this additive. One other thing with this product is you don't have to moisture test your concrete slab. As soon as your substrate is visibly dry, you don't have to worry about the moisture. And that's very interesting, especially when you are under pressure with the time. So with C carbon C21, your substrate is dry, dry to touch. You don't have too much to test, and you can glue down directly the wood floor with this product using the specific trowel that comes with the bucket. You can sand your floor after 18 hours, and this product goes solid, is okay, for, is great for solid wood and engineer wood. When it comes to sound control, we have a Delta IIC of 21. We always give the Delta IIC of a product because it really presents what is the participation of this product to the entire build-up. So sometimes on high rises, they say we want the IIC of 50, 55, 60. You don't know in which, what, Sorry, you don't know the participation of each product when we just give an IIC. So we prefer to give a Delta IIC. And on the stage 21, the Delta IIC is 21. It's easy to remember, C21, Delta IIC 21. And do you remember when I was speaking about the Sika MB? We always measure and compare the different products based on their permeability rating. So the CKMB is 0 0.06, and the CKBOM C21 is 0 0.4. For a all-in-one product on wood floor adhesive, it's really, really good. And this is our brand new product, which is the CKBOM C100. So all the products you've seen, C55, C35, C21, they are our urethane technology. And in the wood flooring business, uh, there is a new technology that is on the market since the last three, four, five years. It's what we call the hybrid technology. It's a water soluble technology. And with this technology, the product is less sensitive to the cold temperature outside, so the throwability will stay consistent whatever the weather is outside, and the cleanability is really good, meaning you can clean it with water versus curatin, which is one of the... Sometimes people don't use urethane because it's hard to clean once it's cured. So Cigarbon C100, brand new, uh, ivory technology, easy to clean. The VOC is 7 grams per liter. The Delta IIC is 17. Same thing as C21, it's the all-in-one, so you can use it for moisture and sun control. And same thing, you don't have to moisture test 
the substrate when you are going to use the Chicago T100. You can use directly on top of the concrete using the trowel that comes with the bucket, same as the twin one. Marlene, we have another question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, Mark's asking, for the all-in-one adhesive product, as moisture mm -hmm. testing is not required, um, mm -hmm. it does not have an MVER limitation? That is correct. There is no limitation on our all-in-one with floor adhesive. The only requirement is the substrate to be, to be visibly dry. I hope this okay. I hope this answers the question. So the last system and CICA developed and we had the patent on this system is the CICA Ashubon system. So instead of having space, you will have this system with a mat that is three holes and sausages that you will use with a specific gun. So how the system works? You have this mat and you will fill the hole with the C carbon C53, which is inside the sausage, and you can glue down solid wood, engineer wood, and you will get a delta IIC of 24. With one kit of the layer plus the sausage, you can cover 269 square feet. The elongation of this product is phenomenal, 500%. So this is why even if you don't have a full trowel, you can glue down solid wood. Due to the elongation, it will work perfectly. And the nice thing is people, they can uh, work faster and the weights are lower than using pails because at the end of the day, you just have the sausage waste. This product is a specified product and it's mainly used in high-rises buildings. We also have two other products that come with our line. So the Sika Bond Construction and Disease, you can bond everything, anything to everything. Uh, usually when we demo this product, we bond two concrete blocks together. You can also use this product for a glue assist product. It comes with uh, it comes in tubes of 10 ounces or 29 ounces that uh, you can and you use that with coke and uh, without any problem. It's the urethane technology in tube. And the last product I want to talk to you about is the C-carbon remover. So remember I said sometimes people don't use urethane and disease because it's too hard to clean. Now you have the remover and it cleans the urethane once it's cured without damaging the finishing of the floor. So if you have fingerprints on your wood floor, you can now use this product and it will take everything off. And we have everything urethane, not the finishing. And we have done some tests with a uh, five month cure C21 and it works perfectly well. So this is the last slide of the presentation, just to give you uh, an overview of our system. So we have primers and moisture mitigation solution. So CKMD is our primer moisture, it's our moisture mitigation solution. So with the CKMD, you can do moisture mitigation, you can do consolidation when you have a weak substrate, and you can do adhesion promotion. Then you have the O1 primer for the porous substrate and the O2 easy primer for the non-porous substrate. Then you have skin coats if you need to smooth the floor, and you have the wrap patch, which is very similar to the skin coat. And you have our two levelers, the 125 and the 325. And at last, you have our wood floor adhesive. C21 and C100 are our all-in-one. C35 for engineer, C55 for solid, 
the actual one system is for uh, when you need to have a very strict control of the sun. This is it for our overview of our range. Uh, as I said at the beginning, we are here to make your first kick as secure. Uh, this presentation was, uh, I mean, all of our products have, have many, many features and benefits. That was a brief overview. If you have any question, if you want to know where to get this product, or if you need some demo or samples or anything, uh, you can call me anytime, 201-364-8244, or send me an email and I will be happy to help you.